welcome back to my channel today i am going to discuss about oit reading part a let's begin okay in oit reading part a this is the test of cellulitis okay this is a test we're talking about cellulitis okay you will get the information to open the question booklet okay what you have to do firstly you have to read the titles i repeat once more firstly you have to read the title titles what is the title here asking cellulitis okay in oit reading part a you get four tests okay you get four tests test a test b test c and test d i repeat once more in oit reading part a you get four tests okay that is test a test b test c and sorry test d okay what you have to do you have to know about the titles of the text okay here test a is asking about saying about the cellulitis definition and etiology just you have to underline just you have to underline what it is talking it is talking about definition and etiology these are the information we get in the in this text okay test a we will get the information of the cellulitis definition and etiology after that you have to underline some words is okay see very painful hot sore and tender whatever information you see in front of the eyes like your uh, medication disease condition signs symptoms numbers and complication just underline so it will be very easy to find out the answer so just to underline some key words here okay just underline okay after that you what it is for what is the test a test a is asking about cellulitis definition and etiology you got it a is asking about cellulitis saying about cellulitis definition and uh, etiology now test b what is test b here severity of cellulitis it is the test b is the severity of cellulitis and classification ki your own classification system and classification just underline these are the information so you will get whenever uh, Uh, whenever you go to the question booklet, so question booklet, you will get you can easily find out the answers if you underline these keywords. So you have to follow this and you have to keep it in your mind that what is test A is asking, what is test B is coming. What test A is asking about the etiology and definition. Test B is asking about saying about the severity of cellulitis and classification. Okay, just to underline whatever information you see in front of your eyes, just to underline. Okay. Just to underline cellulitis, uh, class three and four, pager cellulitis. Um, okay, she has some deep vein thrombo. Just to underline. Okay, and test B. Test B. What is test C? Is saying about the drug therapy for typical cellulitis. T so is talking about the medication management drug therapy. Here they are saying some classification also. What are the four types of classification? Okay, then some medication is also given. Just to underline the numbers. Just a high letter must not use in pens. Just underline these are the information. Just underline, okay? Just underline, okay? Test four. What is test four? Test one is etiology and definition. Test uh, B is classifier uh, system. That is severity, cellulitis, and classification. Test C is medication management. Test four is management of locally affected areas. Here also we are getting some information about the medication also. So. We have to underline this information. Okay, also, please just underline these are the information here also. Okay, then what you have to do? I repeat once more. You have to utilize one minute for underline the headings and sub headings, and you have to keep in your mind that these are the titles. Okay, what are the test A is asking about? Uh, cellulitis definition and etiology. Test B is classification. Test C is medication. Test four is management of locally affected area. In test C, they are talking about some medication. Also, these are the information we have to keep it in our mind. Okay, so it will be easy, very easy to find out the answers in the text when you go to the test uh, question booklet. Okay, then you have to come to the question booklet. Okay, question booklet. Either you can start from the beginning or you can start from from nine to twenty also. Okay, from today I am going to start from nine. Okay. Which antibiotic formulation is not suitable for treatment of cellulitis? See here, antibiotics is one keyword, and not suitable for treatment of cellulitis. Okay, these are the points we have to underline. These are the keywords. These keywords we are going to find out in the uh, test. Uh, uh, find out in the uh, textbook, right? Okay. 
For OIT reading part A, you have to follow skimming and scanning method. I repeat once more. In OIT reading part A, you have to follow skimming and scanning. What is skimming? Skimming means fast reading. You have to read fastly. Okay. What do you know, know about OIT uh, text A? Is, uh, what, is, what is test A and uh, test B? What is test B? And what is test C? And what is test D? What do you know about the information? So, when you get the question, when you get the question, you have to underline the keywords here. The keyword is antibiotic. What is antibiotic? It is a medication, okay? And not suitable for treatment of cellulitis. These are, this is the another keyword. So, from where we will get this information? Antibiotic. Either we get, we get this information from test C or test D. C is asking about uh, uh, medication and D is also management. Here, there also we got some information about medication. Okay, These are the two texts we get information on this. There is no need to check uh, text A and text B. Uh, text A is ask, saying about the etiology and definition. Text B is classification type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4. So, there is no need to check there. Uh, why I am um, st stressing the info importance of this? So, you have to save your time. You have to complete 20 questions within 15 minutes period period okay if you follow this technique definitely you can complete your test within 30 minutes this is proven strategy okay so many students are following so many students are following still they are getting 20 after 20 so you have to follow some tips and tricks how to approach the question how to find out the answers okay you know it is reading part a you are going to find out the answer with the method of skimming and scanning. What is skimming? Skimming means fast reading. I repeat once more. Skimming means fast reading. You have to keep your hand there. Read fastly. Okay. After the scanning means you will get the information about your keyword. Antibiotic not suitable for the treatment and cellulite. So what you have to do? Sometimes you will get the paraphrased version of the question in the question booklet, the text booklet. So you have to underline the surrounding area that is scanning. You have to underline the surrounding. You have to read the surrounding area that is scanning. Properly scan the area. Then only you will get the answer that is scanning. So, OIT reading part here repeats once more. You have to follow skimming and scanning. Okay. Here, we are going to find out this uh, answer with the help of skimming and scanning. Here, what is the keyword here? Antibiotic not suitable for treatment of cellulitis. So, you have to go to test book. I already told you this information we get from either from C or B. So, just to skim fast reading. Class, so here it is not saying anything about anti antibody. It is saying about antibody, but not suitable for cellulitis. So not saying so. Then, what you have to do? Come to the D. I already told you management. Here also, they are saying some medication. Okay. So, fast reading. Prescribe analgesia. So, just to fast read it. So, see here also antibody we got, no antibiotic. See, avoid, see, one meter, okay. Avoid, I will highlight this. See here, avoid the use of topical antibiotics, okay. Antibodies, we got the keyword here, antibodies ask. These are unsuitable for the management of any class of cellulites. What is the question? Antibiotic not suitable for treatment of cellulites. So not suitable for treatment of cellulites. What is the option we got here? Avoid the use of antibody. What antibody? Topical. What is the answer here? Topical. Not suitable for cellulites. Huh? These are unsuitable. See how they are given the sentence. Not suitable, unsuitable. For the management of any class of the cellulite, you see, this is the way they give the, uh, uh, the answer in the textbook. Like, so, you have to find out the answer in this way. What is the answer here? This answer answer is topical. What antibiotic? Topical. You have to write topical here. Okay. Topical antibiotic. Okay. You got it? You got it? Really? Thank you. Okay. Which pre-existing weight-related condition? So, weight related condition so we are going to find out any weight related condition would from class 2 categorization so from where we will get class 2 categorization that is so you have to go to the class 2 categorization from where is the class 2 categorization question booklet b okay class 2 
weight related so class 2 class 2 see class 2 here class 2 Uh, class two, okay, class two. What is the question? I read one. I repeat. Weight related condition would prompt a class two category. So, so class two weight related. See, we we have to read this. We have to properly scan here. Okay, we got it. Class two keyword is keyword got it here. Okay, then we have to properly scan this sentence. The person is either systemically unwell or systemically well, but with a comorbidity. Example, peripheral artery disease. chronic venous insufficiency or morbid obesity which may complicate or delay resolution of infection what is class weight related condition they are saying which pre existing weight related condition would prompt a class 2 categorization okay what is weight related condition they are saying morbid obesity so what is the answer here second morbid obesity you have to write morbid obesity here okay morbid obesity okay you got it are you getting can you follow me please 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 watch my video till the end okay please watch my video till the end definitely you can achieve 20 out of 20 in oit reading part this is my guarantee please believe me <clears throat> sorry please believe me this is my guarantee you can achieve 20 out of 20 in oit reading part a okay you are going to boost your score in oit reading you are going to boost your score in oit reading part a 20 out of 20 you are going to get 20 out of 20 in oit reading part a this is my guarantee please watch my video till the end okay please this is my humble request to all viewers okay 11 What single dose? So we are going to find out the single dose. Okay, each and every keyword is important. Here we are going to find out the single dose. So IV benzyl penicillin should be administered to a class four patient. Okay, this is talking about medication. From where we will get medication column, treatment column. Directly we have to go there. Not 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 test A, test B, or some other test D. Okay, medication treatment antibody. Okay. directly here here what is the question class 4 patient single dose of benzodiazepine class 4 single dose of benzodiazepine benzodiazepine we got it 2.4 g 2.4 hourly 2.2 to 4 hourly what is the single dose they are saying what is the single dose see i will highlight okay what is the single dose benzodiazepine 2. 4 g okay you have to you have to write the measurement also 2.4 g what is the single dose you have to write single dose of class 4 uh, benzodiazepine 2.5 g you have to write the measurement also here okay write gram properly write the measurement okay next question what may be impaired impaired very very impaired impaired if anti inflammatory is are given to patient who take se who take se inhibitor inhibitor what impaired what may be impaired what is impairing okay impaired if anti inflammatory is are given to patient who take se inhibitors from where we will get either medication yes in the basis so medication okay anti inflammatory so so medication okay in you know, option c is talking about test c is talking about the antibiotics okay test four is the management so where we have to go we have to go to the management column that is test d okay can you follow me okay management of the locally affected they prescribe analgesia to ensure pain relief so we are just fastly skim okay fast skim Okay, and see, we got it. And inflammatories, and inflammatory. We got got the keyword now. And inflammatory drug. Okay, ah, uh, by initiating, ah, uh, if initiating an anti-inflammatory is obligatory, use the proper. See, see, we are not get. Um, just go to the take account of the drug interaction. See, for example, co-prescribing anti-inflammatories with the AC inhibitors or angiotensin receptors. Broken. may pose particular risk to renal function see you got it what 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 will impair what, what, what is the question they are asking what may be impaired renal function renal function is the answer okay renal function may impair if anti inflammatory is are given to patient who take anti ac inhibitors okay ac inhibitors okay 
I'll add the answer. I, I'll highlight. Okay, one minute. This is the renal function. See, renal function. Okay, renal function. Okay. Take account of drug interaction, for example, for prescribing anti inflammatories with AC inhibitors or angiotensin resistance blockers may pose particular risk of that is, particular risk to renal function. This is the answer. Okay, renal function. Okay. What is the single dose? We are going to find out the single dose of oral flow class silin, oral flow class silin recommended for the least serious category. So, least, most, these are the words are very, very important. Least serious, see? least serious category of cellulite. So, from where we will get least medication and least, least serious category. So, we have to go, we have to go to C. Okay. So, what is the least serious class? One. Is the least serious and what is the question? Fluclosacillin and a single dose. Single doses. What is single dose of fluclosacillin? Single dose is. Uh, what is the single dose of fluclosacillin? 500 mg. You got it? You got it? 500 mg is single dose. Maximum dose? 1 gram. Okay. What is the single dose here? They are saying 500 mg. Okay. You have to write it. Here, single dose is 500 mg. Okay. Then, next question. What is the maximum single dose? Maximum. Maximum single dose of IV clindamycin recommended for a patient with a class 4 cellulitis. So, we have to go to class 4, find out the clindamycin and find out the maximum dose. Okay. Class 4, clindamycin. Maximum dose. What is Minimum dose is 600. What is the maximum dose? What is the maximum dose? 1.2 gram. What is the maximum dose? 1.2 gram. Don't make mistake here. Single dose. What is the minimum dose? Is 600 mg to 1.2 gram. Maximum dose is 1.2 gram. Okay. You got it. Next question. 15 to 20 is uh, sentence completion. Okay. Uh, 15 to 20. It may be necessary to carry out. We have to do something. We have to do something. What? Carry out. Of blisters caused by cellulitis. Of blisters caused by cellulitis. We have to carry out. From where we will get the answer? Carry out. We have to do something. That is management. Okay. Carry out. We have to do. We have to carry out dash of blisters. We have to do dash of blisters caused by cellulitis. Okay. We have to skim the skim this text. So, see here though, see. See here. Content proactive management. We have to do some proactive management and blistering. Including, what is including carry out? Aseptic aspiration. What is the answer here? We have to do aseptic aspiration. Okay. We have to do aseptic aspiration. Aseptic aspiration. We have to carry out. See, the question they are asking, it may be necessary to carry out dash of blisters caused by cellulitis. So, how they are given that as uh, sentence content proactive manager. Maybe we make mistake here. Sometimes we wrongly write proactive manager. No, it is not. It is a proactive manager. What it is carry out? Aseptic expression. What are the procedure we are doing? They were that we have to write there. What is the procedure? Aseptic aspiration. So, you got it that answer. Okay, when prescribing anti-inflammatory, so we have to find out anti-inflammatory from where we got the information, management, okay. Dash may be used as an alternative to ibuprofen, alternative to ibuprofen, what may be used, okay. So, here we can find out anti-inflammatory, got the keyword here. And if initiating an anti-inflammatory is obligatory, use ibuprofen or, or the ibuprofen or what is alternative they are saying? Naproxen. See, naproxen. Okay. What is the answer here? Naproxen. Okay. You have to write naproxen here. A patient may have been, a patient may have been exposed to infection by swimming in surface water or using, for use, using what? Using what? Uh, uh, exposed to infection. Okay. 
so from where we get this information from where we get this information so we are to go to the classification and definition okay we will get the information from the classification or definition see we have to fastly uh, skim cellulitis of pinosin we got fresh water we got it here okay and uh, salt water we got but we didn't see any keyword swimming and for tapsis also water okay we got some information see here we got um, we got fresh water got it here and salt water we got it okay but we didn't see any water or swimming here okay what is the question they are saying a patient who may have been exposed to infection okay exposed to infection by swimming in surface water or using dash okay here he caused by exposure we got exposure to fresh water see exposure to fresh water so type of exposure means maybe we can swim there okay and caused by exposure to salt water that is exposure to water what is the key word here okay and using what using see here use of hot tub so using what hot tubs there also water is there okay so use what is the answer you have to write hot tubs okay maybe you get confused here in this question go to the text and read it properly you can understand what it is saying and come to the question and then and, uh, and, uh, understand what it is saying so you, we can easily find out this answer patient may have been exposed to infection see exposed to infection by swimming in surface water they are given the keyword surface water but it is in the test they are saying about the fresh water salt water okay and caused by use of hot tubs what is the para overall saying by for the commonest organs in that cause cellulitis okay colas are streptococcus cephalococcus other less common organs include seromonas hydrophilia yes. how it it because cause caused by exposure to fresh water okay that is vibrio val uh, valnificus caused by exposure to salt water maybe we will swim there in the water okay so and the use of hot tubs also we will get cellulitis so what is the answer hot tubs okay using they are saying the word asking the word using what is using cellulitis so here here see pastrella maltosida and anaerobes caused by mammalian bites it's a bite it caused by bite of mammalians okay not the use here the use the uh, keyword is use use in dash oh, use in dash hot tubs okay Yeah, this is the way you have to find out the answers okay conditions such as dash or even metastatic cancer may be mistaken for cell condition such as condition such as dash or metastatic cancer may be mistaken for cell so we have to find out the keyword metastatic cancer from where we will get the from where we will get this information okay so management okay we got some metastatic cancer there in the manage uh, where to go to either you get the information in the management or you get the information from the classification so what is the question they are saying patient with exacerbating cellulitis sorry condition such as or uh, even metastatic cancer may be mistaken for cellulitis either we get the information from the b or uh, d okay so first we can go to the b you have to just uh, skim condition such a metastatic cancer so see for the information metastatic cancer for here you have to properly scan the sentence okay not that many other common condition including deep vein thrombosis share the same symptoms what is the question condition such a dash or even metastatic cancer may be mistaken may be mistaken see for cellulitis okay so what what it is saying note that many other common condition including deep vein thrombosis share the same symptoms that is unilateral redness or swelling as cellulitis for the sinus they are formed okay as cellulitis okay the same also true for rare serious condition such as metastatic cancer okay from here we will get the answer okay what is the answer deep vein thrombosis okay you have to write the dbt here okay 
next question patient with exacerbating cellulitis okay cellulitis exacerbating cellulitis a compromised immune system or those with dash should be hospitalized okay from where we will get maybe we get the information from the b or a or d c is talking about the um uh, manage uh, c is talking about the medications we won't get this information from either we, we, first is first is talking about the etiology and uh, definition so exacerbating cellulitis is a compromised immune system those which so we can uh, check them uh, test a or test b okay <clears throat> what is uh, what is uh, what is the question once more patient with exacerbating cellulitis okay and compromised immune system and those with the da should be hospitalized so either we get from the first okay just to scan uh, skim the test compromised immune system That is not there in the. Okay. Then we have to come to the B. The suspected case. Uh, see here, you have to scan. See hospital. We got the keyword here. One minute. See hospital. Cellulitis. We got hospitalized. We got the keyword here. Immuno compromised, compromised immune system. Got it here. So the answer will be here. So we have to properly scan here. Okay, we have to properly scan here. What is the question they are asking? What is the question? Patient with exacerbating cellulitis, compromised immune system. We got the keyword there. And those with the dash, those with the or something should be hospitalized. So in suspected case cellulitis, immediately hospitalized anyone with the class two or class four. In addition, anyone. Who is immunochromous has facial cellulitis? What it is? Those with what? Facial cellulitis. What is the answer? You got facial cellulitis. What is the answer? Patient with exacerbated cellulitis and compromised immune system and those with he compromised and anyone who is compromised has facial cellulitis. What is the answer? Facial cellulitis. So we have to write the facial cellulitis here. Okay. Patients suffering from dash can experience repeated episode of cellulitis. From where we will get the information? Either A or B or A or B. Okay, management is, this is not there in the management. C is also this is not there in the. Uh, so, first we have to go to the first. Test A. Okay, just the scheme. Com recurrent is compromise. Patients suffering from a repeated episode of cellulitis. Okay. See, recurrent cellulitis. Recurrent means repeated episode. Recurrent means repeated. Recurrent that we got the keyword here. Recurrent cellulitis is more common in people who have chronic lymphedema. Okay, what is the answer here? Chronic lymphedema. We have to write the answer. Chronic lymphedema. See, we got the keyword here. Recurrent means repeated. Recurrent means repeated. Okay, episode of cellulitis. We got it there. Patient suffering from. Okay, what is the answer here? What is the answer? Chronic lymphedema. Okay. We wrote all the information here. Okay. We wrote uh, all the answers here. Then we have to come to the match the following. Okay. What is the treatment? What is treatment? Treatment is said by taking out the medication. Treatment for cellulitis caused by less common bacteria. From where we will get this sense of treatment of information. So we have to go to the uh, option C. Less treatment of Treatment of cellulitis caused by less common but suitable drug therapy for a typical cellulitis treatment. Treatment, which is talking about the treatment. Okay, what is the answer? Drug therapy for a typical cellulitis. Okay, what is the answer here? Treatment for cellulitis caused by less common bacteria. Okay, less common bacteria. So that is less what less common bacteria classification. Class one, class two, class three, class four. Okay, these are the classification. Just talk about the classification. So less common, we have to use flocculacin. More common, the class four, we have to use other type of medication. So what is the answer here? We have to write C here. Okay. Reason for drawing around the area affected by cell. Reason for drawing from where we will get the information. Reason for drawing that is management. Okay. 
बोल तो माय व्हाट इज द वेरी सम मैनेजमेंट ओके डी रीजन फॉर जस्ट दिस फर्स्ट लिस्ट कैन देयर ओके क्या सी कैन बी मार्क्ड विद अ पेन रीजन फॉर ड्राइंग देयर मे बी डिफ्यूज रेडनेस एंड वेयर द मैट इट दैट कैन बी मार्क्ड विद अ पेन सी हियर सी there may be diffuse redness or devil demarcated edge that can be marked with a pen reason for drawing so what is what is answer d okay yes system talking about system okay we got to know the answer system for determine where and how best to treat patient with serous system what is what is the system system they talked about the system is in the b classification system okay classification is talking about b okay what is answer B symptoms that may be experienced before the infection is visible. Symptoms they are talking about the symptoms from where we will get. See, come to the answer. Symptoms etiology, definition. Symptoms here, fever, swollen, tenderness. Okay, you got it. With like that, you have to. You can easily find out every answers because we already know what it is talking about. Okay, we already know what it is talking about. We already did the so many questions here. Okay, from ninety to twenty meters questions. So we know. What the not a uh, text is saying? Okay, equipment for ensuring that patient's legs are more comfortable in bed. bed okay, from where we will get equipment management? Okay, management. What is the test? Management where we got it? Test D equipment elevated after limb to use of bed cradle. That is the equipment. Okay, bed cradle. So you have to write D here. Okay, you are you getting how easily we are finding the answers? Okay, this is the way you have to find out the answer. You can easily manage your Uh, manage your timings here. Okay, you can complete twenty questions within fifteen minutes. Period. Alternative medication for cellulitis. Patient who cannot tolerate one type of antibiotics. Alternate medication is talking about alternate medication. From where antibiotics is under keyword. Okay, so from where we will get C medication. Just talking about medication. So what is the answer C? Alternative medication. Okay, one type of this. What is May not use, uh, may not be used in penicillin and anaphylaxis. Okay, alternate medication, prostaglandin or ceftriaxone. Okay, so these are the, these are the answer. You, you, this is the way you have to find out the answer. Okay, how to deal with in is the infection site after the swelling has begun to how to deal, how to deal with the infection site after swelling has begun to ready seven. Okay. From where we will get how to deal with the infection after the management? Okay, management. What is where is the management? Okay, you have to think. What from where we will get the information? Management. Okay, uh, management. What is the question? How to uh, deal with the infection after site after the swelling has begun to uh, reduce? Okay. You got it here, okay? Uh, how to deal with the infection site after the swelling has begun to reduce? Okay, if you didn't get the answer, you just you have to you have to scan, skim, skim the area, monitor temperature, elevate the after limb contact plot. There may be diffuse redness or swelling, demarcated that it can be marked with the red. See here, okay? Also, critical stage swelling and redness is subsided as the patient with the compressing bandage. So these are the information you will get the this process. Okay? how should be consulted uh, regarding pharmacotherapy how should be how should be consulted how should be consulted how should be consulted regarding pharmacotherapy for cellulitis so pharmacotherapy where is the answer c okay how should be consulted okay pharmacotherapy discuss the local medical microbiology service okay see so what is the answer here c okay d here okay c and d You got it. This is the way you have to find out the answer. So it's very easy. If you follow the follow the technique, definitely you can achieve whatever. Definitely you can achieve twenty out of twenty in OIT reading part. Yeah. Today signing off, Sanida. Thank you for watching my videos. Okay. Thank you so much.